Yo, what's up guys, we're back at it, and today we are unboxing the Bell Qualifier Helmet. Now this is a helmet that's been really popular through the years for being a great entry-level helmet that you can get for under or around $100. So let's go see what's what and why it's so popular. Now I got this one in medium on Amazon for $130. First thing that I like to see in any helmet is it comes with a nice carrying bag here. Well, that's nice. That's an interesting color. Usually it's uh, black, but I'm liking this. A nice carrying bag. This is always good for when you're traveling. You can you know, toss this over your shoulder. It helps carry the bag, and it's nicely uh, wrapped up in here. Let's get this off. Voila! All right. Whoa. Pièce de résistance. All right, well here we have the Bell Qualifier in all its glory. Only weighs around three and a half pounds. It does look pretty good in this matte black finish. It is DOT certified. Uh, well, let's dive into it. Let's see what we have here. On the top, two nice brow vents. Pretty easy to manipulate those switches. On the back, we've got these nice exhaust ports on the top and on bottom. And you can see these big air channels. Get the airflow moving through so the helmet doesn't get too hot. It does have, and let's see here, I can get it right on there. Nice moisture wicking removable liner, the cheek pads comes out, the top comes up, the crown. And then what we can see here, oh good, nice speaker cutouts. Your Bluetooth comms on both sides. What I'm not seeing is a chin curtain. Probably an added extra there. So I mean, how much only 100, 130 bucks, so you get what you pay for. This is the uh, entry level. There's also the Bell Qualifier DLX, which comes with an extra visor. And then there's the DLX MIPS, which comes with this technology where they, uh, basically there's a foam liner and there's a, a low friction liner and an impact. It, it offers a few millimeters of rotational, uh, I guess, force dissipation. So it's less force on your head and neck. And that helmet runs around 300 bucks. Uh, I'll put a link down below for all of them. You can check them out. But let's see this visor here. First things first, I like to see the positions of the visor. Now this one, and all the way down, there's no positive snap. It just goes down, all right? Some visors have little detents along the way. This one has all the way down, one snap there, up until it's locked. Now it does have a nice rubber uh, gasket here, but there's no positive snap. All right, there's nothing locking it down 100%. If you want to switch up the visor, you have to put it in all the way to the top lock position. Little uh, lever, pull that down, pull it out. Real simple, real easy. Let's see here. Yep, that comes off real nice and easy. For this helmet, 130 bucks. I mean, no frills, really. No super uh, high quality materials. All right, we're not talking carbon fiber. This is a polycarbonate shell. A little kind of cheap plastic here and there, but I mean, great entry level helmet. It's got a little spoiler here. Get the airflow going over. Three and a half pounds. But a great uh, entry level helmet. I can see why folks like it. Intermediate oval shaped head. Uh, but yeah, I'll put a link down below and I'll be posting a more in depth review after I give it a try myself to see how it fits. I got the size medium. I'm a medium in all different helmets. So this one I'm hoping should fit. We'll dive more deep into it in the next one. Catch you later. Bye bye.